Hey, what's going on guys? Sandpiper XP here with um I would say a review of up to the first big boss in Stellar Blade. Now, I didn't know much about this game coming into it. Um, but overall, it's not terrible. I wouldn't say it's groundbreaking either. Um, but there, so I'm just going to go over a few things in the video that basically highlight how I feel, how I think about the game. And, uh, I will say though, that this opening sequence was pretty cool. The ship's coming down, getting blown up, just destroyed. They didn't even get a chance. Got destroyed by whatever the main villains are. I can't say their names, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoy and, uh, yeah. Alright, so first thing first is I'm going to say great graphics. It looks amazing. Now, these enemies, the first thing I thought of when I saw them, if anybody's ever seen it, you know, Pennywise, when he gets that light in his eye or in his mouth, that's that. That's nightmare fuel. Um, now, when it comes to, I would say, the music, the music's very good. Music is, um, just... It fits the fights. It fits the kind of theme that they're going with. And I personally enjoy it. I don't think a lot of people would. But I personally enjoy the music. Now, when it comes to, I would say, the combat. It's uh, more simplified than I thought it would be. Because everybody was saying it's like a Dark Souls kind of game mixed with something I can't remember what else someone said but I can see the Dark Souls aspect of you need to do the perfect timing the perfect blocks but then you go to the combat and it's just a bunch of squares and triangles and no cool combo I mean you have some of the moves do look cool but the combos just aren't what I thought they would be now you do have some like one hit kill moves just like right there which was pretty neat uh, but yeah, so for combat, it's it's alright. It's not the best, it's not the greatest. Now for Big Boy right here, uh, his fight was pretty interesting. He was technically the first fight, boss fight, but I went to the one after that, after this prologue. So for a first prologue boss fight, he was pretty interesting. It's like he had like little boxing gloves on the end of his hands, mainly all about swinging his punches. Um... It seems more like the the parry system isn't as good as it could be. Like, yeah, you have to be dead on. Which most games give you a little leniency when it comes to that, but not this one. You gotta be dead on the hit. The perfect dodge is a little bit more helpful. You can be a half second late on that and it will be turn out alright for you. But yeah, I kept blocking. And I was just getting my health whittled down because I wasn't doing the perfect block. A block doesn't mean anything until it's a perfect block. Um, but yeah, this boss fight was a pretty good introduction. Very interesting looking. Like I know I said the boxing gloves of the hands, but then also the I would say spiky head and tentacles coming out of his stomach. Or maybe that's the intestines. I don't know. He is definitely very grotesque looking. He's also got a tail. Um, but yeah, first boss, first prologue boss fight, not too shabby. So, after some story bits, we're introduced to this guy named Adam. I guess he saved us from that boss, or there was an alpha, whatever the, the villain is, and it almost killed us. He saved us, took us on a ship, and now we're helping each other figure out how to take down all the enemies that are on this planet. Um, he doesn't seem... He's just your generic side character, kind of, uh, little... He's your Navi from Zelda, basically. He follows you around in this little mech and doesn't help you fight or anything, but he's there to give you tips. So, it's an alright character. Now, the enemy types, the different kinds of enemies that are in this game are very unique. We got like these little circular scorpion dudes that try to sting you with their tails. 
um, here after this fight, there's going to be a guy that comes out of some rocks and he has a sword and a, like a big ball hammer fist. Um, but the, and then there's another enemy. Uh, I'll show a clip of him. Um, whenever he's like a starfish kind of guy. See this, the guy, sword, ball, and chain. But there's also like a starfish like floating around enemy. That's pretty different. But yeah, the enemy types are definitely very cool looking, very unique um, part of the game, and I really enjoy the way that they design them. Right here is this starfish enemy. He, uh, yeah, he's definitely very strange looking. Uh, he does like this spinning attack and like tries, and he can turn invisible too. So, and there's a scan that I like to like the scan. Um, of the enemies he's very they're very and you can scan every other things around the area it's very helpful um, not many games do that anymore there's a few that do but not many do um, so yeah I take him down pretty handily but not not too terribly of a hard of a fight now I will say there is a reward for exploring which I do enjoy I like to explore in the games that I play so there's chests to find, there's little uh, conversations to have with the guy that's in the robot, um, and there's a different enemy, like this guy, he's got a big old shield arm, and he's kind of a difficult fight, I didn't have the ability to break shields yet, so he was just whooping me, um, but yeah, the, so like right here, you find a map, and basically the Eve does not know what a map is like she doesn't understand that you can't like synchronize your location on it it's just a normal paper map and that's kinda like showing the time it's been since um, they were here on earth I'm assuming this is earth and like they talked about books and they're like it can only store up to one gigabyte of data and she's like well that's just useless so yeah I think it's pretty cool that the dynamic they're going for that she just doesn't understand how Earth used to work and how different things are. Alright, so here we go. We got our first boss. It's ab abandoned, I'm assuming is what they were trying to say. Uh, he's got a pretty cool moveset, very hard to learn, I feel like, especially when you're just starting to learn the game itself. Pretty, It's honestly a pretty good first boss. Um, he's got two swords that he can swing around basically like he's destroying me with right now because I can't dodge or block or anything to save the life of me in this game. Um, his design, it looks like his mouth got ripped open. <laughs> and, yeah, he does this jumping attack where he stabs into the ground, knocks me down. Um... Let's see here. What else he got? There's more slashing attacks, more stuff I need to try and dodge. Uh, I start doing my special moves because I forget that I have them. Um, and yeah, he's his fight wasn't too hard. He did kill me once. I saw these exploding barrels and I was like, ooh, I should hit those. And boom. So he gets a second phase where like he can charge himself with lightning, and he makes he can shoot lightning balls at you he can make lightning come down from the sky he shoots like a lightning uh, slash I would say um, it definitely ramps up the difficulty here if you don't know what you're doing with the perfect block like I used everything and I'd still lost um, but yeah so he good first boss interesting cool electricity powers um, I will say I do like that they're doing the things like Dark Souls where it's uh, you find camps which is like a bonfire um, and you can upgrade your stuff there and all that there and they're very, about as rare as they would be in Dark Souls so yeah uh, but yeah I hope everybody enjoyed this little different kind of video than I normally do and I hope that you guys enjoy the new style of thumbnails that I'm starting to make and yeah I hope you continue to enjoy this um, journey I go on with either the more stellar blade or paper mario comes out here soon so i'll be playing that um but let me know if i should stream more st stream stellar blade uh, i haven't streamed it yet but i did record this just in case someone would like me to play it so yeah i, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh peace out i'll see you guys next time